Have you ever read a novel that predicted the future of humanity, based on one of the most influential works of literature ever written? Imagine a world intertwined with the mystic depths of Dante's The Divine Comedy, where every twist and turn whispers an echo of this timeless epic. That's the essence of Inferno, a fascinating masterpiece penned by Dan Brown. As we journey through this review and analysis, we'll uncover the secrets embedded within its pages. Intrigued? Well, hold on tight as we delve into the secrets of Inferno. Imagine waking up with no memory of the past few days and discovering you're part of a global conspiracy. That's precisely the predicament our protagonist Robert Langdon finds himself in at the start of Dan Brown's thrilling novel, Inferno. Robert Langdon, a Harvard professor of symbology, wakes up in a hospital in Florence, Italy. He's disoriented, with no recollection of the events leading up to that point, but there's no time for Langdon to gather his bearings. An assassin's bullet whizzes past his head, and he's thrust into a deadly game of cat and mouse. Langdon teams up with Sienna Brooks, a brilliant doctor with a mysterious past. Together they uncover a chilling plot revolving around a potent virus, a secret society, and Dante Alighieri's masterpiece, The Divine Comedy. The virus, known as Inferno, threatens to wipe out a significant portion of the world's population if it's released. As they race against the clock, Langdon and Brooks are not just battling their pursuers, they're wrestling with moral dilemmas, grappling with the implications of their discovery. What if the villain's plan isn't as evil as it seems? What if it's a solution to the world's overpopulation crisis? Their journey takes them across Europe, following a cryptic trail of clues hidden in some of the world's most famous artworks and landmarks. The clues, steeped in symbology and historical references, are not just breadcrumbs leading to the virus. They're windows into the mind of the villain, a rogue geneticist with a god complex. As Langdon and Brooks close in on their target, they encounter a ruthless assassin, a mysterious billionaire and a shadowy organization willing to go to any lengths to stop them. The stakes are high, the twists are unexpected and the suspense is relentless. Inferno is more than just a mystery thriller. It's a thought-provoking exploration of bioengineering, overpopulation, and morality. It's a tribute to one of the greatest works of literature, Dante's The Divine Comedy. A tale that keeps you on the edge of your seat, Inferno is a roller coaster ride from start to finish. What makes Inferno even more captivating are the characters that bring the story to life. At the heart of this thrilling narrative is Robert Langdon, a Harvard professor of symbology. Known for his sharp intellect and knack for solving puzzles, Langdon is our guide through the labyrinth of secrets that is Inferno. This time, He's in a race against time, with no memory of the past few days, and a deadly global conspiracy to unravel. His character is a perfect blend of intellect and action, making him the quintessential protagonist for a story as complex and riveting as Inferno. Alongside Langdon is Sienna Brooks, a young doctor who aids him in his quest. Sienna is not your typical sidekick. She is intelligent, resourceful, and has a mysterious past that adds an extra layer of suspense to the narrative. The dynamic between Langdon and Brooks is fascinating to watch. Their intellectual sparring and shared determination to uncover the truth provide some of the most gripping moments in the novel. But it's not just our main characters who shine. Each character in Inferno, from the ruthless assassin to the mysterious billionaire and the rogue geneticist, plays a pivotal role in the narrative. They all have their own motivations, their own secrets and their own roles in the grand scheme of things. This intricate web of characters keeps the reader guessing, continually throwing new twists and turns into the plot. And let's not forget the shadowy organization that is determined to stop Langdon and Brooks at all costs. This unseen adversary adds a sense of urgency and danger to their mission, keeping the stakes high and the tension palpable from start to finish. In Dan Brown's Inferno, characters are not merely plot devices. They are deeply complex individuals who drive the story forward with their actions and decisions. They each contribute to the rich tapestry of intrigue, suspense and mystery that makes Inferno such a captivating read. These characters, with their complex personalities and motivations, add layers of intrigue to the story. Inferno isn't just a thriller, it's a treasure trove of themes and symbols that make you think. Let's delve into the depth of this novel, starting with the themes. Overpopulation is a central theme in Inferno. The antagonist, Bertrand Zobrist, sees it as the root of all the world's problems and designs a virus to curb it. His radical solution forces us to confront our own thoughts on this pressing issue. How far would we go to save our planet? 
Bioengineering Another major theme is Zobris' tool to tackle overpopulation. It raises ethical questions about the limits of scientific advancements. Should we play God and tamper with the laws of nature? The narrative also grapples with the concepts of morality and free will. Characters are forced to make difficult choices, often blurring the line between right and wrong. It's a stark reminder that life rarely offers clear-cut moral decisions. Now, let's turn to the symbols. Inferno is laden with references to Dante's The Divine Comedy. The title itself, Inferno, is the first part of Dante's epic poem. The novel's plot mirrors Dante's journey through hell, with Robert Langdon playing the role of Dante, guided by his Beatrice Sienna Brooks. The pathogen, aptly named Inferno, symbolizes the hell that Zobris believes humanity is creating through overpopulation. Dante's descriptions of hell serve as a chilling backdrop for this impending doom. Landmarks and art also serve as symbols in the novel. They are not just scenic backdrops but integral parts of the plot, hiding clues in plain sight. The Mask of Dante, for instance, is a physical symbol connecting the narrative to the divine comedy. These themes and symbols enrich the story, making Inferno a thought-provoking read. They invite us to ponder over global issues, question the ethics of scientific progress, and appreciate the intricate interplay of literature and art in the narrative. So, the next time you pick up Inferno, remember it's more than just a novel. It's a journey into the depths of humanity's greatest fears, dilemmas, and potential for redemption. No novel is without its share of controversies and criticisms, and Inferno is no exception. The world of Inferno is one where science, particularly genetic engineering, has the potential to both save and destroy humanity. Critics have argued that the novel paints an overly simplistic view of this complex field. A lethal virus that can manipulate human DNA to cause sterilization? Fascinating, yes. But the reality of genetic manipulation is far more nuanced and less predictable than depicted. Critics have also lambasted Brown's portrayal of morality. They argue that the villain, Bertrand Zobrist, is a caricature of a mad scientist, with his extreme solution to overpopulation. Is it ethical to sterilize a third of the world's population without their consent? The novel seems to argue that the ends justify the means. This simplistic view of morality has sparked heated debate, with critics suggesting that it glosses over the complex ethical issues at play. Then there's the controversy surrounding the novel's depiction of historical facts and figures. Brown has a knack for weaving fact and fiction together in a way that blurs the lines between the two. Dante Alighieri and his epic poem The Divine Comedy play a central role in the novel. While many readers enjoy this blend of history and fiction, critics argue that Brown's interpretation of Dante and his works is misleading and overly sensationalized. The novel's portrayal of the World Health Organization has also been a point of contention. The WHO is depicted as a powerful entity capable of extreme measures, a portrayal that some argue strays too far from the truth. Despite these controversies, Inferno remains a fascinating read that prompts discussion and debate. It's a novel that encourages us to question, to probe, and to think critically. And in the end, isn't that what great literature is all about? So, what's the final verdict on Inferno by Dan Brown, you ask? Well, here's my take. Inferno is a riveting ride through art, history, and literature, all wrapped up in one thrilling mystery. The plot, teeming with suspense and action, is a testament to Dan Brown's storytelling prowess. It's a roller coaster that takes us from the eerie hospital in Florence to the heart of Istanbul, keeping us on the edge of our seats. The characters are compelling, each with their own unique layers and complexities. Robert Langdon continues to be an intriguing protagonist, and Sienna Brooks adds a new dynamic to the story. The supporting characters too bring depth to the narrative, making it all the more engaging. The themes and symbols, intertwined with Dante's divine comedy, give us plenty to ponder upon. From overpopulation to bioengineering, morality to free will, Brown provokes thought and sparks conversation. The controversies and criticisms surrounding the novel only add to its intrigue, making it a must-read for any mystery enthusiast. On a personal note, I give Inferno a solid 4 out of 5. It's a captivating page-turner that offers a unique blend of thrill and intellect. If you're a fan of mystery thrillers, historical fiction, or just an admirer of good literature, this novel is definitely worth your time. Remember, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel for more book reviews and analyses. Thanks for watching.